doing art is the only thing I've come across that gives me any idea that I'm anywhere close to understanding what the universe is about. It all sounds very mystical, I know, but I think that's yeah, what drives me. Getting interested in photography and the, the, and reading books in photography and how to do, how do you take a good picture? How do you, how do you improve your photographs? Well, you know it's still out there. You know, don't pose your subject in front of a tree because the tree will look like it's growing out of the person's head. I thought, well, you know, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and you can do that, <laughs> and uh, so I just put the two together. A picture of me standing in front of a tree and labeled wrong. Everywhere I'm, I look, I'm trying and thinking about alternate ways of seeing what I'm looking at. And it's just escape boredom. Uh, this uh, the insulation of brain cloud refers to some early paintings that are here dealing with clouds. Uh, it, it's began to dawn on me that uh, a brain if you can look like a cloud if you manipulate it the right way. And that very easily, you know, we see things in the clouds and I love the idea that it's hovering there, almost like a, something from outer space. You, if you look, look over there, you, in a few seconds you'll see yourself looking at this view over here. And I mean to also to look kind of a little bit like it's a clip out of a movie, that it might be from an early science fiction film. Being in an encyclopedic museum is, uh, I, I think it's a great experience because you, you're, you're seeing how you stack up against the whole history of art, and uh, pretty humbling.